Last week on the journey to Paris, we introduced you to Callie Prohaska. This week, her teammate, Olivia Chambers, is also striving for Paris. I traveled to Iowa to spend time with Olivia and show you how she's taking a medical mystery and turned it into a renewed dream on the Olympic stage. Go, Olivia. Don't ever remember not being in a pool. It's just like every day after school, that's where I would go. That's where I had fun. I was the happiest. It didn't take long for Olivia Chambers to find her talent in the water. It's a challenge. It's exciting. It's fun um, to race yourself at the time, and then it's fun to race the people next to you. At 16 years old, she was finishing up high school and committed to swimming at Northern Iowa, when a moment in time changed everything. You know, one day I was just like reading a book, and all of a sudden I just couldn't see the words anymore, and I was like, well, that's a little strange. I went to the eye doctor. They told me it was completely completely normal so and that I just had an accommodative spasm and a couple drops and it'd get better. However, after a year and a half, her eyesight did not return. There were several really hard days where, you know, you just think like, how, how am I going to do this? How? She kept doing the one thing she loved most, swimming. All right, here we go. We're halfway there. Keep fighting here. Here we go. It really all started um, conference her freshman year. She finished her mile. Um, and that was an emotional swim. And her mom was one of our officials for the meet. And the two of us after the race were like, OK, like she started asking, how do we get into para? And I was like, OK, hey, we'll figure this out. Olivia's early successes include six medals in the 2023 Para World Championships in England and breaking five American records her first year of para swimming. Now with para swimming, there's like a little bit of hope where I'm like, OK, something good can come from this. And as she continues to navigate the mystery of losing her sight, she says she wouldn't have been able to achieve anything.